This guy's living a sad life, dude. He's a keyboard jockey. A significant portion of Philion's audience are overweight guys sitting on Twitch, watching him play Twitch, Cheeto dust on their fingers, talking about, oh yeah, well, I'm a loser in my mom's basement and I'm a level 57 Padawan, whatever, but at least I'm not on steroids. It's like, hey, Philion, you've seen yourself, right? You probably could use some steroids because you clearly have low T. Chest up, shoulders back. Welcome to Revival Fitness, everybody, where we are saving the fitness industry from suffocating on its own BS. And that used to be the message of Affilion's channel, but today we're here to commemorate the death of it. And we gotta get a few things out of the way, all right? First off, I know a lot of you Philion fanboys are gonna be in here. Oh, you're just doing this for clout, you're clout chasing, you're just a hater with no views. And it's like, yeah guys, going after a bigger YouTuber is going to draw more traffic to this channel. Anything else you wanna point out, Einstein? And I'd like to say, if you are new here, welcome. I'm probably gonna piss you off, I have that effect on people, I tend to go nuclear pretty quickly. I don't mince words. So if you're easily offended or if you're one of these people that likes to ride the fence and be like, oh, well, I don't want to hurt anybody, you're not going to last long here. So if you want to be all high and mighty virtue signaling, oh, I don't care for the drama, don't watch the video. It's that simple. But virtue signaling and being high and mighty, that's going to be the main point of this piece. Because Philion, his entire brand has become nothing but that. You saw the title. He is a virtue signaling soy boy. This guy has spent the past, what, two to three years? He has done nothing but make the same video over and over. And I didn't even watch his full reaction video to Noel because I don't need to. The past three years, all Philion does is make the same video every time he uploads. Built different, not built different, built different, built different. It's like, I know everybody's channel has a niche and kind of repetitive things they talk about, but Jesus Christ, dude. And it's kind of sad too, because Philion's channel started well. It was entertaining, it was funny. He was legitimately calling out a lot of the fake natties and other scammers in this industry. But some point down the line, I don't know exactly what or when or why this happened, but he just became the virtue signaling police. He makes the same content, talking about obvious natty or not scenarios, oh this actor, this celebrity. And this is one of the craziest parts, guys, because if you look up Philion's old, old stuff, right? If you can find old cringe compilations of him, he used to be a nut rider of the same guys he now spends all the time calling out. He used to be all buddy-buddy and fanboy with classic physique guys, bodybuilders, YouTubers. He was kind of in their little niche, or he was trying to be, but he's too scared to stick a needle in his ass, so now he just bashes the guys who are willing to do that. And once again, guys, I am not defending fake natties. If you're new here, I do that all the time on this channel. I talk about realistic standards for natural lifters all the time. I'm not going to sit here and defend fake natties, but a lot of you guys who are like Philion, you spend all day online coping and sitting in your little pity party. Oh, this guy's not natty. This guy's not natty. This guy's not natty. It's like, yeah, we know that. Focus on yourself. I made an old video called Why Natty or Not is a Massive Waste of Time. I'll put that in the pinned comment below. You should check that out too. But it's a fruitless endeavor, guys. It's nothing but mental masturbation for kids with body dysmorphia. What about this guy? What about this guy? You need to focus on yourself. Okay, if you spend all the time you did on these forums and on YouTube and all these goofy natty or not videos, all these Philly on videos, learning more about programming, exercise selection, fixing your form, your nutrition, you would be bigger and stronger than you already are. That's what I'm trying to get across to you. And this guy, Philly on, honestly, does he even lift anymore? You sitting there looking like an ugly feminist with your giant brim glasses. <laughs> but this is what gets me because Philly on's entire brand is Fake natties, fake natties, fake natties. We have to stop the fake natties. And then you have a bodybuilder like Noel, who finally comes out and says, verbatim, I am not a natural bodybuilder. He literally has thumbnails up of his own syringe, totally transparent, saying he is not natural. Like, he's doing exactly what you would want him to do, and what all of us would want him to do. He's being honest about a very touchy subject. And this soy boy Philion still is going to come online and lambast him and complain. We're going to talk about Noel, who is not natural, but they call him the Natty Daddy. He just sits in his little chair with this goofy boil, calls it the third eye of truth, and he just makes fun of guys who are more successful than he is. That's it. And Philion is very successful, guys. I'm sure he makes a very comfortable income, like I said. He has a lot of clout. I wish I had his clout. I'll be totally honest with you. 
I'm not going to pretend like I don't want his clout, but I'm not going to sit here all day and just hate and shame people more successful. I am all for valid critiques. I have critiqued Greg Doucette mercilessly about the main gaining bullshit. I critique Athlean X. I critique Joel Seedman. I go after snake oil salesmen with the fake products and stuff. I'm making honest critiques though. This guy doesn't even have a critique. Noel doesn't do anything in the industry. He just, he gets famous because he talks about steroids. It's like, what do you do for the industry, Phileon? I've never seen you give one real video about form advice, about nutrition, about programming, all the stuff I was saying earlier. You contribute nothing. You are a leech on the ass of the fitness industry. And every time somebody else puts a syringe in that ass, you just keep sucking blood and getting bigger and bigger. And I keep seeing this phrase. You either die a hero or live long enough to become the villain. All these kids saying, I never could have seen this coming, Phileon. Why would you do this? Like, this is too far. This is crossing the line. Guys, it's been obvious his channel's been going in this direction. He's a professional hater. I know this comes as a shock to a lot of you guys, but if you want to get to a high level in anything, especially athletics related, you're probably going to have to do drugs. I know you guys don't want to hear that. That's part of the price you pay to get to the top level. I know, again, that shocks a lot of you because you're fanboys of X, Y, or Z athlete. He would never do that. Yeah, he would. And that's the crazy thing. Phileon used to be able to talk about this rationally and be like, yeah, you need to accept this. But Phileon has went too far down that rabbit hole. Once you accept that Natty or not is a waste of time and you accept that most people are on stuff and there's no point of trying to hyper analyze it, there's literally no point. Why are you watching this nonsense? And this is where I want to bring this all together. Not just for the YouTube fitness side of things, but really society. Because this form of virtue signaling, right? This just soapbox, oh, I'm superior than all these people because I don't do this or because I do this. This stuff is out of control, guys. This is in fitness, in politics, in social issues, whatever the case is. Everybody is just constantly virtue signaling about how much better they are than everybody else all the time. And even if they don't claim they're better, they will look at the other group and say, well, they're beneath me because they do this. Like I told you guys, if you want to get to a high level in any athletic endeavor, even general actors and just like TikTok people do steroids now. Like Xbox and PlayStation gamers do steroids to look better on Instagram. This stuff is all over the place. Like I said, you can't do anything about it, so why are you complaining about it? And I remember one of Phileon's old videos, I think he called it the Puss Boy Platoon. He was roasting all these fake natty, like, Instagram Gymshark kids. Ironically enough, Phileon has become what he hated. He has become a puss boy. All he does is sit in his chair with his cheesy grin, makes fun of everybody, <laughs> I'm so cool and funny and snarky, which you're not, your jokes have totally fallen off a cliff too, bro. You lost most of your humor. It's not good. High and mighty, I can do no wrong. I don't do steroids. I'm not an alpha male. And I make fun of the alpha male thing too, guys, because a lot of it's very performative. It's very cheesy. It's also its own form of cope. I have a whole video called why the Sigma male is astrology for men. I'm not defending this alpha nonsense either, but once again, all this guy does is complain and make fun of people. And he does it all from his chair. You guys saw the thumbnail. I'm holding the phone like this in the thumbnail. That's what I mean. He's a keyboard jockey. And then after all that virtue signaling, all that mocking, he finally gets what he wants. A guy who's evidently on steroids admits to being on steroids and he's still complaining. He's still trying to vilify this guy. This guy's living a sad life, dude. I don't know what it is about him. He probably knows he's really ugly and it probably eats away at him on the inside. But yeah, this is just sad, dude. And I'm sure he'll recover. He has a very big channel. I'm sure this will blow over in a few weeks, most likely. You guys got to understand, a significant portion of Phileon's audience are overweight guys sitting on Twitch, watching him play Twitch, Cheeto dust on their fingers, talking about, oh yeah, well, I'm a loser in my mom's basement and I'm a level 57 Padawan, whatever, but at least I'm not on steroids. It's like, hey, Phileon, you've seen yourself, right? You probably could use some steroids because you clearly have low T.